Hey, yo, man, we live in the building, man. It's your boy Butter from the Black Black Lag. PP motherfucking V, man. Shout out to the motherfucking innovators and what they do, man, all over the fucking man. Pay me in this battle rap culture. You hear me? PDV, live this motherfucker with that nigga Butter. Oh, it's that nigga Butter from the Block. Nigga, what's poppy, boy? Facts, you already know. KPV, we in the building, man. Black Lie. Black Lie. Philly shit. Not the you know saying? West Philly, nigga, huh? West Philly, you already know. Playground born and raised, man. Not the gay. You know, West Philadelphia, born and raised. I see you, my nigga. Facts. That's a, that's, so you just came off of uh, Gates of the Garden. You was in Atlanta with this thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was OT. We took it down Atlanta. Yeah, up Gates of the Garden. Open the gates, volume one. Volume one weekend, that shit was popping, yeah. Me versus Jeff Trez, it went down. That's dope, that's dope. So, uh, when you got the call for Trez, how'd you feel? You know what I'm saying? Because you you came off Bill Collected. You done, you done battled a couple guys, a couple different platforms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. battled on uh, multiple platforms. Um, a lot of people don't remember. Um, last year, I was actually supposed to battle Chef Trez on the Gates of the Guardian. Facts. Um, for, for whatever reason, our battle got rescheduled. We both was there, though. Um, you know, a little, little, little stuff just happened. I mean, during an event, was caused us to say, you know what, we're going to push it back to the next event. Um, and it wound up being be until this year, so it took a year, but, you know, uh, better late than never, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Out the gate, you know what I'm saying? So, like you said, y'all was supposed to battle before, because I remember, uh, shit, like you said, shit happens, you know what I'm saying? It was understood and got to be explained, because we spoke about it, you know what I'm saying, yeah. when it happened and shit, so I know exactly what you're talking about, so, uh, exactly. yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, rewrite, did you rewrite, or you just sat on it, did you revise your round? Uh, yeah, yeah, I had to revise a lot of shit. Because I'm um, to keep it real, man, I don't know about other battle rappers, but I don't know, man, if you got, like, universal bars and you're still working, you can't sit on too many bars for too long, you know what I mean, unless it's damn flips. Yeah. So, you know, I used a lot of that, that material, man. I had mad battles after that shit. I think I had twerk right after I was supposed to battle trash. So, you already know some of that even went in the air. So, like, yeah, I definitely had to rewrite. Um, I had a few name flips and stuff that I was sitting on, though. You know what I mean? So, the process wasn't... Um, as tough as some would think, you know what I'm saying? Rewriting like three rounds, but I had like a little template to go off of, and it was dope, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so I can't complain. Yeah, 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 yeah. we did. Yep. Out the gate. So, uh, was it a one rounder? Three rounds. Three rounds. Oh right. shit, y'all with the whole kitten caboodle, nigga. Hell yeah, yeah, that was that. That was what we scheduled for from the get. So it's been three rounds since day one. So. Yeah, man. Three wheels, three of them things. <laughs> no, yeah, no, yeah, pun no pun intended. Yeah, yeah, no pun intended. Oh, God, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, y'all yeah. was day one or day two? Uh, day one. We was day one. Yeah, day one. Okay, let's speak about day one before we speak about your battle. What was the standout battles, you know what I'm saying? Or did you see everything? Because, you know, you got... Um, I didn't see everything, but, you know, I see a majority, though. You know, I was there. I was participating. I wasn't just, you know, there for my battle. I was in and out a little bit, you know, rehearsing my bars or, mm -hmm. or listening to just a few people going over their material or whatever, you know, just vibing. So, um, I see most of the battles, though, for the most part. Um, a few, few standout battles um, that I seen, um, or people, should I say, um, the first day, man, got real crazy. It was guys like, um, what's his name? Gotti Illuminati. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. He went against yeah, G-Lo, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotti Illuminati was showing out, you know what I'm saying? Like, he had, he, he shook the room a couple times. Um, who else, man? Um, the guy D-Flames, uh, he was, he was rocking. Um, Prez Mafia, you know, he, he, he showed up at the gates and was showing out. Uh, you see classic. Uh, classic, you know, flashes of who we all love from Prez Mafia, so that was dope to see that. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, Twerk was giving hell, man. He went against my man, Jots. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, let's talk about that. That's your Philly bull, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnny on the spot, yeah. So, how did that battle go? How'd your man Jots do? I know that's your man. Yeah, 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 but yeah, everybody know Butter from the block, sharp knife though, you know what I'm saying, I mean, home team is home team, but yeah. I'm always sharp, sharp knife, you know what I'm saying, you know, that's why people respect my opinion, I feel like, you know, Jack's gonna uh, afford a good fight, but, um, you know, he kind of got his ass kicked a little bit from star power, mm. and, and, when you, and when you battle star power like that, you know what I'm saying, that they go all around, kind of like the United States now, you know, battle rap wise, um, you gotta, you gotta really say something that's mind blowing. You know what I'm saying? Like pause for the kids if I have to. Yeah. You know whatever. But um, 
Yeah, he, you know, he, it was a good, he, he fought, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he threw Twerk off his game a little bit. Twerk got emotional during Jots Ram. Oh, shit. You know, that, yeah, Jots grabbed him, you know, I think grabbed his chain or something. Twerk, you know, got emotional about that, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, Jots threw him off his square a little bit. You know, good, good, good offense. Um, but Twerk in the end, you know what I mean? You know, that, that you know, that boy kind of is a, is a savage a little bit with the word play. So, you know, it was definitely shock value from star power and all that, but rightly deserved, though. Cause you know, um, Twerk Fire, I actually battled that nigga, so I know what it's like to stand in front of that nigga and shit. I, you know, I dealt with the same shit in my own league. You feel me? Yeah. So yeah, that's a yeah, fact. That's yeah. a fact. You know what I'm saying? But you give me, you feeling, saying how you feel. You know what I'm saying? So you felt like Twerk just overpowered him. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. And cause it wasn't. Well, me and Jack suck. You know what I'm saying? You know we had a 13 hour, 12, 13 hour drive back home together. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, y'all talked so, about a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, um, and that was my man, too. He helped me drive and shit, you know what I mean? So, you know, we were just busting it down, you know what I'm saying, on the road, you know what I mean, trying to, you know, make sure we were safe and all that. But, yeah, you know, we talked about it, you know, we just basically said that, uh, you know, we at least the best part about this is that you got a good twerk. You didn't get a twerk. Mm-hmm. You didn't get a twerk was bullshitting. Yeah. You know, twerk. I just, I literally watched twerk that same night. And on the two on two, which was fucking ridiculous. Crazy. Like, you know, like on the spot, him and drugs, which that battle already dropped. And that was like, they, they got that about an hour before, you know what I mean? An hour or two hours before they were supposed to go on. So, Twerk's a monster, man. He just, you know, did what he was supposed to do. But like I said, me and Josh glad that, you know, we got a good Twerk out of that. And Twerk walked up to Josh and said, man, we're going to do the most views on it uh, from that card or whatever. So, it sounded like he was real confident in that. So, you never know. That, yeah, that's yeah. dope. That's dope. I'm glad he got a, a good twerk. You know what I'm saying? No homo. You know what I'm saying? That he yeah. can actually share the footage. And you know what I mean? To bring him up. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what it's all exactly. about. Yeah. Yeah. Dope shit. You know what I'm saying? Let me ask you about yeah. my nigga Marv One, my Midwest nigga. What my nigga okay. Marv One was out there talking about? Marv One was doing his thing. I didn't get to see much of Marv's battle, so I'm not going to say that Marv is, is a real cool dude. I, I ran into him a couple times. You know, we talked to him in and out a few times and, you know, busted up. We were just uh, literally sitting there watching a war go but noodles on day two, you know, together and was just going crazy. So um, I didn't get to see his full battle. You know what I'm saying? I heard he did pretty well. Okay. Um, you know, Mar won, you know what I mean? And uh, also Nestle, I didn't get to see you on day two, but that's another story. But anyway, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, he did pretty good, you know what I'm saying? He did pretty good. You know, I can't complain about Mar from what I heard, you know, but I didn't actually get to see his battle, so that's one of the ones I uh, can't really speak on. Okay, that's 100, that's 100. I know you've seen that Dre Dennis and Briggs Bell before. Now, you know what? I ain't gonna lie. Dre gonna kick my ass, but he already know what it is, though. You know what I mean? I kind of stepped out, because uh, Dre battled right after me. And after I battled, coming after, uh, you know, all those long hours of driving on the road and all that, I went outside to soak it up. You know what I'm saying? That's, uh-huh. that's what I had to do. I went outside to soak it up. You know what I'm saying? And just, you know, puff my cigarettes, man. You know what I'm saying? Smoke some weed and shit like that. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so I actually did. I heard Dre won. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But I heard he won. I didn't really hear too many people going crazy over over Bricks, but I got the pleasure to uh, meet Bricks for the first time. Why? And he shook his hand or whatever, and um, he was a real cool nigga his damn self, so. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully they battle went, you know, uh, the way it was supposed to. That's solid. That's solid. Okay, fuck all the bullshit. Let's talk about Chef Trev versus Butter from, Butter from the Block, you know what I'm saying? Coin facts, flip. Facts. Coin flip. Who went first, nigga? Ah, uh, man, you know, I had to call it in there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I called heads in a bed, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, you know, that thing landed on heads in a bed, man, so Trez had to go first, man. You know I wasn't going to go first on that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hell nah, hell nah, so you can come back and rebut three of the motherfuckers? Hell no, you know what I'm saying? You know, so Trez, Trez went first, man. Great bars, good bars, you know what I'm saying? Um, I could tell Trez was a little, uh... Flustered in his first, I knew he had to go second. Um, what I mean by flustered is, um, I know he was just coming back off a battle in the Midwest literally just a week ago, just coming off all these crazy battles, got more battles coming up. So at the end of the day, even though he had three rounds for me, you already, like I said, man, I'm pretty sure that, um, you know, you know, I'm gonna keep it to myself, but even I talked to, you know, him and his homies afterwards or whatever, I'll leave that, you know, under the ranks or whatever, but, huh, you know, it, I, I knew he was just trying to get through his material, but he, but he was Chef Trez, he had dope bars. Dope, dope, dope uh, butter flips, you know what I'm saying? I like his butter flips. The way he probably did butter flips, besides me battling Cortez on the beat, 
Mm-hmm. He, pro- he probably did the butter flips that I like. He was saying, like, I mean, something stick in a box next to butter, shit like that. Now, that's how you flip butter if you're going to do it. You get uh-huh. what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody else come with that basic shit. So I applaud him on, you know, his name first. He had hella name flips. Um, his first round. Um, fell, 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 fell a little short in my opinion. He normally raps longer than that, but like I said, you know, coming off of, you know, the road, OT, battling back to back to back with fire material, it just happens when you're yeah. a fighter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, first round was a little short. Uh, then it was my turn. Um, I go, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I had my opener, you know what I'm saying? The people was a little bit receptive to it. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people in Atlanta wasn't familiar, you know, with me yet. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? But after the first round, they definitely became familiar with me. Um, first round, I was, you know, swinging. You know what I'm saying? Talking my shit. Um, I was right at him. I was straight punching from the gate. Um, no, and, and everybody knows normally I'm not like your, you know your back to back punchline rapper. You know what I'm saying? So right. you know I, I'm I'm a little bit more diverse. I'm I'm all around. You know what I mean, unorthodox, you know, you don't know if I'm going to angle, what tip I'm going to go on. So, mm-hmm. you know, I probably, and I actually pride myself on that, but this time, uh, I came punching a little bit. Um, and I think uh, me punching a little bit from the gate kind of opened the door for me for more breathing room. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And, you, you, you know, like I said, man, everything happens for a reason. I went second, he, he went first. And um, I think I had a more lasting impression in the first round, definitely. Um, nobody can actually deny, even if, uh, you know, his homies or whatever was telling me, like, yeah, hey, you got the first round clear. So, that's fine. Uh, and f- first round clear, butter, man. You know what I'm saying? Bottom line is something I don't think even he would be, you know. Um, and then we go to round two. Uh, okay. Round two, uh, Chef has a rebuttal. Um, he doesn't rebuttal anything that I say in my lines, but he pretty much goes off of uh, what I was wearing and shit. You know what I mean? In front of you said, uh, West Philadelphia, Puerto Rico, I had like a, a little Bel Air, like baseball type jersey. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or whatever. So. Uh, so basically, you know, he did some about the Bel Air. I don't, I don't remember what he said, but it, it was tight. It was tight. You know what I'm saying? Freestyle off the top. So, um, um, that was dope. And then he went to his round again, more name flips or whatever. Um, it was, his round was okay. You know what I'm saying? His round was good, actually. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I think it was pretty good. Uh, then it's my turn. Um, I had a joke in the beginning. Uh, with the, my, no, the first couple words I said was like, last time we smoked weed together, the crowd kind of like, you know, like uh, erupts into laughter or whatever. You know what I mean? They start laughing or whatever. And I guess they was ready for my story now. But it was actually like it was, uh, almost ended in two bars and it was a joke, basically, or whatever. So it, it kind of fell flat a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. So um, then I go on to my next segment. Um... And from the joke, it was basically like, you know, a heavy wordplay type of bar. Basically, like, I was saying, like, if you look outside his pain, like, you know, how you think you was going to get the window. Mm. It's a fire-ass concept, right? Mm. But, like, it, it kind of fell, you know what I mean, a little bit. I seen everybody. I seen T-Top looking. I seen John John looking. I was like, oh, shit, buddy, move on to the next bar. Damn. <laughs> That's real. That's real as fuck. Yeah, you know I mean, so uh, I go to my second round. To me, personally, my second round when I was writing it, you know, I thought it was the hottest round. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going in it, so my shit fell flat a little bit. That took away a little momentum, momentum in the beginning. But then I start, you know, picking up. I start cooking. Um, I'm taking my shots or whatever. You know what I'm saying or whatever. Uh, bad news, ironically, is standing behind Seth Trez now. You know he's like gun titles king or whatever, however you want to call it now. So he heckled me a little bit. Uh, Seth, you know, matter of fact, the heckler was, was out. I was fighting an uphill battle for real. Like mm-hmm. Seth Trez. Um, shout out to Alias who was fucking heckling me the whole time. Who wound up becoming a good friend of mine after the fucking battle. <laughs> he wanted to. He kept it real with me. Like, no, you was cooking, but you know that's all. See, you know what I mean? All that, you know. So, Salute. Uh, but um, yeah. So you know, I was getting heckled by the you know cave gang members and affiliates or whatever. So um. So, so, so that was kind of throwing me off a little bit, but not off my game. It just made me a little flustered, and I kind of like responded a little bit in between bars. You know what I'm saying? I should have just kept my focus on. But, uh, you know, I kept it moving. Um, after bad news heckled me, I kind of had like a little quick response or whatever, you know what I mean? And then I, um, and then I took my shots at, I, I took a shot at Cave Gang and, you know, Tay Rock and Av and Chester, you know what I mean, or whatever. Yeah. It hit, it hit, but I could tell the people were like, oh, oh, t Time was like, oh, man, park light, park light, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know, niggas, niggas is, you know, niggas is feeling, it's a fight, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, Fact. so, you know, 
in my opinion, you know, after my round was done, um, I feel like the crowd edged, edged Chef Trez. You know what I mean? They, they asked me, how y'all feel? 1-1, one, 1-1, one, 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 2-0, 2-0, 1. You know what I mean? Which way? So, you know, some of the crowd was like 1-1. One, one. You had some people say 2-0 his way. Some people say 2-0 my way. You know what I'm saying? You had some people saying 1-1. One, one. So, um, I feel like me personally, it's one of those things. I'm a bad rapper. I feel like I got that round, but I, I, I'm not whatever. You know what I'm saying? If I lost that round, I lost that round. But, you know, it is what it is. You got to judge it on camera. Third round, um, he actually rebuttals, you know, a bar in my second. Two bars, actually. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Two he rebuttals two. Yeah, so that's how much my second round was like, you know, that's what I'm saying. It was it was, it was, it was, it was, it was getting some heckles. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So so, uh, so he rebuttal two of my two of my bars or whatever, which was fire. Um, and, you know, he, 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 he spit, you know, did his thing. Again, you know, a few name flips or whatever. And, he, you know, Chef Trans, I could tell um, he could have rolled longer. You know what I'm saying? But he didn't. You know what I'm saying? He, he basically gave me about the, you know, the two minutes flat. You know what I mean? Or whatever. And um, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? He was paid to do what he was, whatever he was, you know, paid to do. You yeah, know what I'm saying? So he, I already know. He applies you know, the uh, contract, right? Yeah, yeah, he he applies to his contract, but you know, same thing for me. I mean, but even though you know I'm on the same situation, I just felt as though you know I'm going uphill, Atlanta. So I just made sure I had two thirty rounds, two forty five. You know of what I mean? course, of course, yeah, yeah. I mean, come on, my nigga, you had an extra clip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah I got yeah, enough yeah. ammo, but nigga, I'm about to bring another clip just to engage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. then most of those guys, when you when you say two minute rounds, normally them guys go two three minutes anyway. Facts. You know, so. But you like you were saying, he was he he done been battling. You know what I'm saying? Back to yeah, back to back. Yeah, he been battling back to back to back. You know what I mean? You were real small leagues and all kinds of shit. So, um, so he goes second round. Like I said, it was all that. You know, whatever two rebuttals. Let me give me two of them things. I ain't get three of them things, but I definitely got two. <laughs> and um. And uh, and that was cool. If he would have gave me three of the things, it would have been crazy for the third round. I would have had to really fight. But um, uh, yeah, so I go. You know what I mean? And then after my third round, um, my third round, it started off crazy. Um, they, I, I think they didn't know which angle I was going to take it at in my third round. But as I started picking up, it kept going. It was just bomb at the bomb at the bomb at the bomb. And then my last bar literally, like, hit the run the crowd was like oh because it was a crazy type bar basically like it was like a, um you know um i believe in nothing bar but it was like you know my last bar was like i believe in nothing like on the scene type shit so it was like real crazy like you don't and believe like, in I mean, nothing but i don't believe yeah, in nothing okay yeah, it was like i got so now i gotta go atheist because i'm a believe in nothing you know what i'm saying so that was my literal last bar of my third and niggas was going crazy and if anything i think in a building that would definitely swung me to third round you know what i'm saying because um you know i was attacking the whole time and uh you know if, if you got people that's going you're going to have people that's going to say uh chef trez two and three um, I know that, you know what I'm saying, you because you know he has a loyal fan base and he's been, you know, deserving so so you know, whatever. But um definitely I feel like um not just from my words, just from people coming up to me, uh butter got round one and three. Um but even if I didn't get one one and three in some eyes, man, it's cool. Yeah, I mean I know that um Atlanta fuck with me and I got a few, you know, book in the office from you know, from Dallas, Texas and fire. you know, a few other places, you know fire. what I'm saying? It should be coming my way real soon, so that's um, fine. You know, they're definitely an opportunity to be there, man. You know, the ticket, the flights, the hotels, they coming. So, so I'm happy, man. You know, I'm, I'm just kind of like, you know, I mean, at my point, because I never set no expectations, I'm literally living out of walking uh, dreams or something. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, literally, you know what I'm saying? That's you dope. Know, just doing it off, of your, and just off, of, with, off you know? of your talent. You know what I'm saying? Like, what your talent yeah. can bring. Because you love to do this. It's like I love to do what yeah. I do. You know what I'm saying? So to get, yeah. get some trinkets off of what you love to do, my nigga, that is a dream, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and everybody know this ain't where I get my money from. I, I literally work. You know yeah, what I'm like, me too. I'm, like, everybody know what I do. You know, people that know me know me. Like, no, I come through. I get a bag in real life. So it ain't about battery. rap. This just adds on to the... Little stuff now. I got look, me and my girl. I just got booked for London on some real shit. Um, we trying Congratulations, to Congratulations, bro. Congratulations. Man, I'm take my girl with me now. Me and my girl going to fucking London. And you think I'm gonna not have fun that weekend? You damn right, I'm gonna have fun that weekend. And I'm gonna battle. I'm gonna go see the fucking queen. <laughs> 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 All kinds of shit. So, yeah, congratulations on that. More, the, the hobby's turning into a little bit of dividends and uh, vacation, man. So that's how I'm looking at it, man. It's feeling good, though. That's dope. That's I mean. dope. Let's run through uh, uh, day two 
any stand out before I let you go? You know what I'm saying? Cause uh, I, you probably yeah, with your girl and chilling and all that. Yeah, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I mean it's movie time, man. We watching Dark Phoenix and all that. Like. Yeah, but, sh um, shout out to your uh, queen. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, day two. Oh my God. Uh, shout out to the Horsemen. Day two, man. They definitely uh put on man from um uh, from A Ward, who definitely had the best um to me. Gate to the Garden debut as far as like big name battlers, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like names. Yeah, man, he was wigging on old boy. He was battling. Yeah, you know I mean, old boy, you know, was okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, not taking that away from him. It What's the name? Kill Assist? Kill Assist or some shit? Kill Assist or Kill Assist? Yeah, yeah like okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, not taking away nothing from him. You know, he had his angles, you know, attacking God or whatever. But it was funny because even A War had this one bar, like, I can't remember, but he was basically like the, the concept was like you keep battling. You know what I mean, God, like you know, everybody come battling God when they battle me instead of battling me. Like and it was like, damn, mm -hmm. that's true. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta battle the nigga you battling. Battle the niggas in front me. of you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like so, they're trying to like denounce everything dude was saying. That's what I mean when like dude was okay. Like in hindsight, it's like okay, he was done right. You know what I'm saying? But he was smoking. Loso was smoking. It just so happens that the dude Loso was sm uh, smoking uh, wind up you know, fighting back. You know what I'm saying? Like he basically his angle was, nigga, I believe in God already. <laughs> like I'm saying, <laughs> you know. So and he was a little head, but hey, that still was alright, man. Like you know what I mean? Loso, he wore. Um, who else did I have been to? Uh, fuck it, man, that little bitch Yoshi. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Yoshi, she battled OG Planet. Yeah, you know I mean, they, they did a good battle. You know what I'm saying? Which I think if it wasn't for Loso and, and, and the Hound Dog Buck 50, uh, Yoshi and Prana would have had a battle the night that uh, day two. Okay, yeah, because I've heard a lot about that nigga Hound Dog Buck 50. Like, niggas was like, yo, he was bashing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, he was good. I mean, his delivery was a little fast, so on camera, I don't know how that's going to translate, but in the building, he had the crowd involved. Like, he was like, yo, if I say something, you know, and it's hot, he don't say too much, too much, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, you know, he started saying some shit. Oh, he kept it old school, like, uh, crowd participation, you know, I used yeah, to be back like, like... too much, too much, even, you know, guys, not to keep throwing, you know, names out there, but that's what we hear in the culture for, but guys like T-Top and him was like, oh, too much, too much, you know, so that's what it's about, you know what I mean? I obviously yeah. had people in tune, you know what I'm saying? So, um, let me ask yeah. you about um, Cortez. How did Cortez do? Yeah, Cortez came with three rounds, man. Cortez came with three rounds. And the nigga he battled, um, um, I, you know what I liked about this battle? You What's know that? what I'm saying? Is that, um, it was the second to last battle. The last battle was actually Z, Z Smooth versus Street Hems, and it was outside, which was a great battle. You Shout know what I'm saying? Say. But, um, and shout out to Zay Smooth. It was probably Fact. the best Zay Smooth I've, I've, I've ever seen. Fact. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Um, but, um, and, um, Cortez, he says, fuck the coin toss, and he goes first. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, like he, was re he was ready. You know what I'm saying? He was like, fuck that. I'm trying to get out of here. Atlanta is <laughs> hot. I want to get back to my hotel, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, so... Um, he comes out, you know what I mean? He he was like, yo, basically his angle was this nigga ain't battled since 2012. Like, you know what I'm saying? He kept running that angle. Like, and it was like fire, you know what I'm saying? And, um, Cortez, well, um, yeah, and another thing, um, I guess they battled, they, not, not I guess, you know what I'm saying? I'm actually a uh, part of a broker in that deal, you know what I mean, for that battle or whatever, get Cortez on the card. But their agreement was in order for Metaphor to get his three rounds, he had to agree to, uh, uh, the clock, you know what I mean, three 90 second rounds, which is kind of still fire for a bet to give you the opportunity to still get free, knowing get to the guard and really mostly do one rounders. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you want three rounds, you're going to have to pay that bag, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, yeah. That's just, well, that's just how it go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, it's a business. Um, it's you, a business. Yeah, so the beauty about that battle is, I believe Cortez, because um, he told me, he's like, yeah, I was going to write for 90 seconds, but he wound up writing two minutes, which was a beautiful thing, because that means he respected, you know, the craft, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? He's like, you know what, this ain't enough. He put a little bit more on it, and, and his guy metaphor, 
um, or whatever, um, cliche name, but dope, dope, dope guy. I like him. You know what I'm saying? He uh, he can step his delivery up a little bit, meaning aggression and, and voice projection, but he has some good, good, good bars. Now, I mean, so they had a fire back and forth battle, and he stuck within the time limits, and you can tell that, you know what I mean, just because he was battling, and he didn't want to take advantage and write another extra minute on top of each round. So, like, that's the type of shit that gets you looks and people vouching for you like yeah man you know what I mean he's a good dude and I'm gonna stick to the contract blah blah blah, blah. Yep. you know what I mean so so he earned a lot, you know what I'm saying, after that battle. Not only is he probably going to get some, you know, decent amount of views with Cortez, but, you know, you got three rounds, and that's going to look good. Now we can actually judge a winner, you know what I'm saying, when it come out. So you might get some um, good feedback off of that. So, yeah, man. You know I mean, that was the night, man. Zay Smooth versus uh, Street Hems ended it all. Zay Smooth, they had a one round that uh, went second. He rebuttal some shit that Street Hem said about his face to him. Um, he was like, you know, he was like basically like, man, God don't make mistakes. You're judging my beauty and God don't make mistakes. That was the bar. It was fire. Mm-hmm. It was a rebuttal. I was like, go ahead, Zay. And, um, and he was privileged too, too. So he had Marv one in the camera, John John and Jersey Twerk. All the niggas. So we, we was all in fucking... Um, we was out there at the venue till 2 a.m. on Sunday morning, my nigga. Oh, you shit. I mean? Y'all was thugging hard. Yeah, man, Sunday morning, my nigga, like morning. I, I, I want to sound like a Midwest West nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we say it, dog. <laughs> yeah, that's how we say it, man. Morning, like, like morning, my like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> out of hood, out of hood. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so that's dope. So, you know, but, but it was dope, though, man. Great. Uh, I think this is something that Gates of the Garden is going to keep running with, open the gates volumes. Um, so that's kind of like, uh, you know, that's uh, gonna like probably be their signature series, right? Yeah, man, like, like they, Summer they, Madness they for Smack, right? Yeah, if they do it on the weekends, you know what I'm saying? I think they're going to um, be doing another one soon, kind of like how, uh, actually, kind of like how, uh, URL is doing like their little band legacy weekends because mm-hmm. them shits be fire. I ain't gonna lie, I was, you know, part of the first one and it was definitely lit, you know what I mean? So, um, even with this shit, man, with Gates of the Guard, man, um, Gates of the Guard weekend, it was lit, man. A lot of big names in the building in another city. So, salute to Dre and for the Yeah, salute to the movement, because the movement, man, the movement man, is definitely moving. You and, know what I mean? And, and, but, uh, a lot of niggas try to hate, like, all them niggas that come to pay to play, you know what I'm saying, and different shit like that, man, but... A lot of them guys, man, made, made a good name off they self off of, you know, I.E. Look at Don Marino, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like some of them guys, you know, really is on, is on a come up, man. Like, yeah. even myself, man, even though it was a different situation with me, I was a league owner, so, like, we was, like, booking artists, and it was my event, so I got paid on my event, but still, we still invested in ourselves, you know exactly. what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong, but the one invest in yourself, rappers, battlers, I'm letting y'all know now, is... You're not ready to rap rap. Do not think you're going to skip a line by coming in and spitting some bullshit and getting uh-huh. 100,000 views and you're getting smoked. Please yeah. do not do it. Talk to him. Be ready. Again. When you're ready to invest, make sure that you're ready. Yeah. For you know I mean? that's, why that's why it's imperative to fight the fights on your level right now. Yeah, because that's what I, when I did a couple, because I'm about to let you go, though, you know what I'm saying, because I know you with your queen and shit, but nah, but when I did do prediction blogs, I tell these guys, fight niggas that's on your level before you pay, you know what I mean, see where you at lyrically, y'all try to fight on hard, no homo, you know what I mean, like the, like a video yeah. game, like you don't even yeah. know the basis of this shit, and you get smoked, nigga, man, fight somebody that's on your level before you pay and lose money just to see that your name got 7,000 views or 10,000 views of niggas watching you die, bro. Yeah, no, that's real shit, man. That's real shit, man. I keep telling motherfuckers, you know what I mean? You never know, man. Fight somebody when you love. That's what happened with me, man. I, I, I fought Black Mooga, who's been on URL. He's from Philly, you know what I mean? If anybody familiar with him, they can check out his battles on YouTube, URL, yeah. whatever. Um, but I fought Black Mooga on Powerhouse, you know, which is my league. And um, two guys was there, which is R.I. 28 Grams, a.k.a. Rio. Yeah, South to Rio. And his, yeah. and his partner, Muhammad, you know what I'm saying? They had a, uh, before Gates of the Guard even started, they had a league called uh, No Holds Bars. So it pretty good to say they No Holds Bars. And uh, a lot of me used to want first to pay Dre Dennis to battle me, you know, as an up-and-comer. When I battled Dre Dennis, that's what even gave me the motivation to say, okay, I'm ready for these, uh, you know, names, uh, niggas with names now. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. that's what I even knew. You know what I'm saying? So, a lot of times you don't have to invest in yourself. You just fight the niggas that's on your level. And then your shit might happen like how it happened to me. Somebody might start paying for battles for you. And then from that, you can start getting paid on your own. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the like, science shit, now. I, I, that's the science. Walking, I'm a walking fucking proof living in this shit. Like, I mean, literally. Like, you know what I'm saying? I literally. literally had to fight my way for every battle, had to take off a year, came back, battled one good time, and then somebody believed in me and then the rest of this to it. Which is dope, you know what I'm saying? Because you never stop, my nigga, and now you're living your fucking dream, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to that nigga, Butter from the Block, you know what I'm saying? So uh, what's Trash. working for you next? You just came off Chef Trez, what's in the works for you before I let go? Um, I was supposed to have Jack Boy Man July 20th, which is the flip, if you've been looking, the flyers are already out. Um, there's a dope car, Crack Liberty, you know what I'm saying? Uh, me and Jack Boy Man, I don't know what's going on with that. They sent me my deposit, um, the league on Zoom did hit me up for, um, um, two, three different names that he wants to replace me on that card. We don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm a hold off on jumping on the card or take one of the names that he sent in. But I definitely got a uh, shotgun shoot July 27th for Verbal Wars. Fire! Yeah, so, um, so yeah, and, and, um, if, if, if we work on this, uh, Changing the opponent, you know what I mean? Then I'll have somebody July 20th, which of course would be a big name. You know what I mean? You okay, know, so you, you got know. July 20th and July 27th? Yeah. A week apart. Okay, that's that shit. Okay, I respect it, brother. Hey, look, man, at the end of the day, man, I didn't take a whole shitload of battles this year. You know, I'm just being smart uh, with my battles. Some battles, you know what I mean? If you're if you fighting a good fight, they might fall back to back like that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's imperative to one, either the contract, you know what I'm saying, or the type of money you're looking for or whatever. And so I don't remember when you battled Enes, but the fact that you battled Enes and from Philly, which I always thought was fire anyway. Yeah, hold on. You know what? Let me look at something real quick. I'm looking at something real quick before I leave you uh, I just want to make sure. Okay. It's PBV. You got to keep it actual and factual around this bitch. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to the flyers now. Trust me, it's just going to pop right up. All right, so. Um, me versus e Ness was, yeah, so January. So January 5th, that's when I battled. So I battled e Ness this year. That was in January. I had URL in February. Mm -hmm. um, I took a one rounder in DC in April. Mm. Um, uh, versus C Dollar Shout to um, uh, Panther One Cut Battle Lady Thompson. They do great business over there. I appreciate you know, for booking me and you know bringing me down to DC. You know, just want to you know put on for her league. That's uh, a fairly new league, but um, you know she's doing her thing. So, so I battle Enes. I battle URL Band Legacy. I battled um, a one rounder in DC, and well, May June. Yeah, I don't think I battled last month. No, I ain't battled last month. Right? I ain't battled. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, then I battled Chef Press. So that you know, I battled four times this year. And um, to, to some people, they might think you, that you battling all the time. I'm really not battling all the time, but I spread my shit out enough to where my name is always going to keep popping up. It's going to stay relevant, you know what I'm saying? It's going to stay against some some good some good fights, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. You know, and, and, and that's just the whole purpose, man. Just keeping it moving, man, you know what I mean? So That's so dope. Yeah. That's yeah. dope, you know what I'm saying? So uh, that's my man Butter for the Block, you know what I'm saying? Uh.